So in this video, I'm going to cover using the Google Cloud Platform to create a simple static website. So I'm going to start out in the dashboard of the Google Cloud Platform, and I'm going to go to Storage. Once I'm at Storage, I'm going to create a bucket, but the buckets aren't available until you enab enable billing. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a bucket. And there's several bucket types you can create, and I won't cover those details now, but multi-regional, it's a geo read redundant bucket type. So that means if a data center goes down across the globe, your data will be available on from some other data center. Okay, so let's get started. I have some directions I've made up already to help this tutorial along. And so before I get going, I've already created a C name where storage.gocket.com points to the Google APIs. So I have set this up already in the webmaster tool, so it's a lot easier to get going. But I won't cover those steps, so I'm going to copy my first step, the bucket name, go back it, back to it, paste the bucket name, and it warns me it's got to be a legal valid bucket name. So storage.gocat.com is, so I'm going to select multi-regional, create, and go ahead and create the bucket. Okay, so my bucket is created. So I'm going to go back to the root of the browser and show you where the settings are at for the website settings. And if you click on the settings icon, you can go edit bucket permissions, objects, and edit website configuration. Now I'm going to set this using the GSUtils that come from the Google Cloud Tools. Um, so I'll show you that, show that in a moment. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go ahead and click on this because we'll come back and look at the resources in a minute. So the next step I want to do is actually set the permissions by using the GSUtils because it's a quick and easy, but I'll do that before I upload the resources so each resource inherits the settings. At. So this I only have to do once when I set it up. So I'm more, I've got my uh, site directory with some content already and I'm going to use that just paste it in my terminal and I'm going to go ahead and click enter and set those settings for all users. So this sets the user settings. Okay so now that I have the user settings set I'm going to go ahead and set all the resources to public read. And here we go, setting that public read on all resources. Of course, they're not uploaded yet. Okay, so now that I have the resources set, I am going to upload my resources. So I'm going to copy that command, which is a simple rsync, upload this local directory. And I'm going to paste, oops, that's the up arrow. I'm going to paste it, rsync, and I'm already in my directory. I have a simple website, 404, one image, and a couple web pages. Click enter to upload, and it will sync the changes incrementally and push them up to the to the bucket. And so the the bucket has the resources. Now let's go to the bucket and just refresh and double check to see if all the settings were there. Okay, so they're all public. And if I go to the root of the bucket. I can check to see if I set the website configuration yet. Okay, so not yet. So I got to go copy that step. And I'm going to copy this. It's going to set the index and 404 or error page when things aren't found. So I'm going to go to the back to the terminal, paste that in, enter the website settings. GSUtils will push these parameters up. Okay, so the settings are set. Let's go verify and and the browser, let's go edit website configuration. All right, there it is, index HTML and 404. So we don't have to save that, it's already been set. So now let's look, we can go to the website and double check to see if our website is created. So create a new tab and go to the website. And there's our website, simply hosted on the cloud storage. And there we go. We have an image, something, we go to the web page and everything works. And if a data center goes down, not to worry, the same resources will be available across the globe. And you can find out more about those settings and everything in the hosting a static website. And I won't cover all the details, but it goes in depth with all the settings that you can use for hosting a website on Google Cloud Platform Storage. Thanks for watching my video today. Keep your eyes peeled for more tutorials on how to use the cloud.